touch every heart tonight. And Lord, use your servant in a mighty way tonight as he ministers your word to us. In Jesus' name. Go for it, Dan. Wow. Hallelujah. It's such a blessing to be here. Thank you so much, Joe and Becky. We love you guys and the whole worship team. And for Pastor Steve and your wife, thank you so much. And Pastor Andre and your beautiful wife, Pastor Jenny. I got to finally meet them yesterday, and they are the real deal. I really want to encourage everyone watching this to get behind this. You know, usually for me, you know, TV is a bit boring, um, <laughs> if I can be honest with you. But I love Faith TV so much. I've been watching it since for the last seven years. And it carries such an anointing and the presence of God. People are hungry in this day that we're living in. And really, let's, let's get behind it. Let's watch. Let's share this program. And it's just so exciting. Um, as Pastor Andre was saying, my name is Daniel. I'm a very young man from Cape Town. I'm 22 years of age. And um, I had a radical encounter one night with Jesus and that night he put a fire in my belly he put passion in my heart and I've been running ever since people said to me no you're just young you know you're gonna you're gonna find you know it's gonna get tougher in life while well, the fire is burning even brighter than ever before and I'm more passionate I'm more in love with Jesus than ever before and that's what I want to speak to you about today with you you know this morning just past six in the morning I got a message to say my grandma went home to be with the Lord and, you know, she was the first one for me when I just got saved that for two years, every day, for an hour to two hours every morning, she would speak the word of God to me. She would teach me the word for two years when I got saved, when other people thought I was a bit crazy and um, in, in Afrikaans they say <laughs> a bit mal, a bicky mal. Um, you know, she was the one because I, I was so passionate and I saw her, you know, she was the real deal. And... Um, you know, this morning, and, and from this morning, I've been receiving so many text messages, WhatsApps, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, you know, saying, I'm so sorry, and um, I'm mourning with you, and, you know, thank you, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm so excited for her, and there's no, there's no sadness, there's no depression in my life. Um, I'm, I'm so overjoyed for her, and I remember many mornings, she would speak about the day she would meet Jesus one day. And she was just a, a total sold out lover for Christ that never compromised every, anyone that knows of the family, the friends. It was always Jesus Christ on the lips. And she traveled the nations um, in some of the most dangerous nations actually preaching Jesus. And I remember during our crusade, now we just had, we saw over 43,178 documented decisions for Christ. And those are people now, they get plugged into a local church now that have been working with us to be discipled, baptized, counseled. And... The final night, we had a crowd of, I mean, just over 25,000 people. And it was actually her birthday. And I remember phoning her at the, at the crusade ground to say, you know, I wish you could be here. I wish I was with you. And I just want to say, you know, this, this is fruit of your life. You know, this, this, this crusade, as I, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it without, without her, with, with all the times, day in, day out, of preaching the word to me, getting me on fire. And one of her favorite scripture verses was Acts 1 verse 8. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes. She would, she would tell that every day to me. And um, she said to me, no, there's no greater birthday gift than seeing her grandson out there winning souls for Christ. And then she says to me, go preach Jesus to them. And um, what, what a blessing. And I think in this time, I know with everything happening in the world, you know, it's so easy. You know, the enemy is always trying to take off focus. And he's trying to take our eyes off Jesus. I remember even one time for myself, in particular, when I started ministry, I was living in Zambia at the time. And I was there for a few months. And things weren't necessarily working out for me. I, I, you know, the, the partners weren't coming. Um, the churches weren't very excited about supporting what we were doing. And I remember I just began to weep, saying, God, did I miss it? Should I be back home in South Africa, you know, coaching tennis or doing something else with my life. Why am I actually here? And for a moment, the presence of God entered the room. And 
I, I just began to weep there, but not, not, not of the situation, but of the beauty of Jesus, just worshiping Him. And I realized that even in ministry, we can't put our joy, our focus on ministry, on, on these things, on, even on our vision. Everything needs to be about Jesus Christ. Everything. And, you know, the word says, you know, we, we, we spoke about yesterday that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So we're only as strong as the joy we have. So we need to be flooded with joy, but it only comes in the person of Christ. And everyone that knows me knows I'm a very simple man. I'm an evangelist now, and um, the message has not changed. I preach Jesus. People ask us in our, in our gospel campaigns that we do, why do you call it the Jesus Crusade? Why don't you call it the Miracle Crusade or the Deliverance Crusade? You guys see so many miracles and powerful deliverance happening in the Crusades. And I say, here's the thing, when Jesus is preached, <laughs> miracles happen because he is the miracle worker. <laughs> when Jesus is preached, deliverance happens because he is the deliverer. So he fits all the, all the boxes. He ticks it all. And more than ever, I believe, you know, the, the word says, as surely as I live, the whole earth shall be filled with my glory. And, you know, this year, my wife is a, a dietitian. She's doing her Zuma year. We say in, in South Africa where she has to be sent out to a, a community in South Africa to, to do her year. And, you know, we live in the most beautiful area with mountains everywhere, with rivers. I love fly fishing. Um, so I love to fly fish. So we live in the most beautiful part, actually, with very little people there. And many times as I'm just driving, you know, I get overwhelmed for just, just overwhelmed because the mountains are so beautiful and it, it's of His glory. And though He created, though He created the rivers and the beautiful places, but He doesn't live there. <laughs> he's chosen to live here in this temple over here in this body that we here can be carriers of the presence of God of Christ Christ in you the hope of glory and now he has chosen his glory <laughs> to live inside of us and that we here as sons and daughters can fill the earth as Moses said Lord show me your glory what happened Exodus 33 his, his, the word says his glory, I mean, his, his goodness and mercy passed before Moses. It passed before him. His glory. His glory is goodness and mercy. But now Psalms 23, what does it say? In all the days of my life, his goodness and mercy follows me. So his glory is following us as sons and daughters. These, these signs shall follow those that believe. What do we believe? That Christ is risen. Death, where is your sting? The devil no longer is next to me. He's not beside me or behind me. He's under my foot. <laughs> and what an excitement we can now, everywhere we go, we get to manifest Christ. And this is the message today. It's not about one man. You know, we preach about one man of God, one man here. One man. The man is Jesus. And we're his bride. So we're called to love him with everything. You might say, you know, Daniel, you know, you're feminizing this thing. Listen, he calls you his bride. <laughs> we are called to love him with everything. And, you know, one of the prayers I've personally been praying since I've been saved is this prayer. I said, Lord, help me fall in love with you more every day of my life. I've prayed that prayer every single day. And for me, I believe if we're going to walk this out, you know, the Lord once said to me, he said, many people have a love for power but no power to love. <laughs> Everything flows out of intimacy with Jesus Christ, with loving Him with passion. You know, one of my, well, we know the scripture verse so well. It's in <laughs> Matthew 22, verse 37. And I'm going to read it out of the Passion Translation. It's very passionate. And it goes like this. It says, Jesus answered him, Love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart with all the energy of your being, and with every thought that is within you. This is the great and supreme commandment. And the second is like it in importance. You must love your friend in the same way you love yourself. And I think so many times, you know, being an evangelist, I love people. I mean, I travel with people. Our team from Take the Nations is busy watching now <laughs> in Zambia and even our South African team right now. But I love to be around people so much. But missions, 
still can't take the place. Ministry still can't take the place. And I think so many times we as believers have put this, this doing mentality, you know, ministry, um, even people above loving Jesus. Where we need to come back to that. That first thing Jesus said, love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart, with everything that is inside of you. And then everything else follows. You know, I was saying yesterday when I went to Zambia for the very first time, I had very little things. I, I, I got there with about $5.70 in my pocket and with just a big vision, a big uh, something inside of me that just wanted to see Jesus move. And I lived with, with nothing. You know, my wife at that time knows she was the one encouraging me on WhatsApp, sending me messages, just carry on, carry on, carry on. But I loved it. I'm in love with Jesus. And, you know, as I said yesterday, when we love him, we obey his commandments. It makes everything easy. That second, that second commandment there, Jesus gives us there, that we will love our neighbor like we love ourselves, becomes very easy when we love Jesus with everything. Because when we love the person, we don't want to hurt the person. So, I'm, as you can hear, I'm very passionate about this. I'm so excited. Um, I don't have any, I'm not filled with, with, a, with a little bit of depression or anything like that, anxiety. No, even in the days we're living in, what a great opportunity we have to manifest Christ in a time when people are hurting, when people are full of fear. We have, light shines the, the greatest in the darkest areas. And <laughs> darkness can't comprehend light. And now light has come inside of us and we are now flooded with light. And once again, getting back to this, all of this starts with saying yes to Christ. And not, not just with your words, but with your life. And you know, I'm, I'm, not very, I'm not very old. I'm not Dr. Andre's age or Dr. Jenny's age. But, but <laughs> not to say they are old, but they are a bit older than me. Dr. Andre has some more wrinkles than me. <laughs> but I've, I've, I've seen people, you know, I've, I've seen Christians and different people. And many times we don't want to become, you know, Christ followers because we see a different life. And, you know, they say yes with their, with their lips, but their actions deny it all. And it's one of the most dangerous things ever today in the world. Because I know Pastor Jenny was speaking about yesterday, you know, lukewarmness. It's a very dangerous thing. We need to be radical. We need to be on fire for Jesus, for the things of God. You know, Halloween, for example, we don't celebrate Halloween. It's from the devil. You know, what, 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 what you're doing when you're celebrating Halloween is you're putting Jesus' face in the mud if you're a Christian. We're called to represent Christ and to surrender everything to Christ. And I remember for me, that was... That's everything still today. We live a life focused around Christ. And you know, one of my favorite scripture verses is found in the book of Luke, verse 9, when the disciple asked Jesus, you know, Jesus, I want to follow you. But first, let me go bury my father. <laughs> and then I'll come. And how many people today in the church live a life like that? But Jesus let me first, let me first finish school. Let me first have money. Let me, let me first retire and make sure my children are fine. And then I'll come follow you. Then I'll serve you. Then I'll pay my tithes. Then I will go to church. But my friend, <laughs> that's not how it works. And Jesus responds there. He says, let the dead bury their dead. Follow me. And you know, it sounds like such a harsh thing for Jesus to say, you know, you know if, you don't, if you don't want to go to your father's um, burial, you have a problem. <laughs> so what, what was going on in that, in that time? But you see there that what stood out there for me was the two words that, that that disciple said when he wanted to follow Jesus. And it was this, but first, but first. And there can be no but first in serving Jesus Christ. There can be no, no but first in going in doing what you're called for. And here's the thing, I can't make a decision for you. You know, the Lord once said to me that the anointing is attracted to uniqueness. And only when you are truly you, 
can you truly manifest your anointing and your calling on your life? Because I can't try to be like Pastor, Pastor Steve or like, like, like Joe. I can't sing like Joe. But, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I can be me. I can be me. But here's the thing. With being me, I have to make a decision myself for me. I have to get to a point where I get hungry for the things of God, where I surrender, where I say, you know, this Sunday, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to take that dusty Bible out on the shelf and I'm going to open it and read it. I'm going to get on my knees again and serve. And maybe that's you right now. Maybe, you know, things happened in life where you serve God once, you were on fire for God, you prayed, and things happened in life. I want to tell you right now, the same hands that formed you are the same hands that were pierced for you on Calvary's day. And those hands want to lift you out of where, whatever situation you're in right now. If you just call on the name of Jesus, it is so simple. It is Christ. You don't need me. You can't call on my name. You can't call on any other person's name. You can only call on the name of Jesus because he is the only king that died for you. You know, Christianity is the only religion that you can fall in love with God. You can't fall in love doing a, a, a law, a law works relationship. That's not relationship. Hoping that your good deeds will outweigh your bad deeds. That's not, that's not relationship. That's not love. But we see in the New Testament, God is love. And for God so loved the world that He came and He demonstrated on that cross for you because the word says you were the joy set before him <laughs> you listening to me right now on the camera right now you yes you <laughs> it was you Paul said it one of my favorite scripture verses found in Philippians 3 verse 6 that he was so so zealous <laughs> It goes like this. I was so zealous that I harshly persecuted the church. And as for righteousness, I obeyed the law without fault. I once thought these things were valuable. But now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless compared to the infinite value of knowing Jesus Christ, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, at the end of the day, everything you have right now is going to be gone. Your fancy car, your nice house, your investments, your shares, you can't take that with you to heaven. You can't take that to heaven. Only, only, only us, only people. I remember Dr. Rodney once said that. He said, the only thing we can take with us is people. And people need to be everything in our lives. Yes. And we make these things above, above Christ. And at the end of the day, everything's going to fade away. But your love for Christ, that's what will keep you. He needs to know you. He loves you. He believes in you. You know, my life, I didn't, you know, being young, I didn't necessarily know what I believed in, what I stood for. But here's the thing. Even in the midst of that, Christ never stopped believing in me. That's right. And maybe that's you right now. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to do right now with your life. And maybe you're just flicking through the, 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 the channel right now. I want to tell you right now, Jesus Christ believes in you. On, and He loves you so much. And He is more real than the air I'm breathing right now. And that's why my grandma, though she passed away this morning, I can know. Death, where is your sting? Death has, <laughs> there's no death in Christ. We are alive. We are new creations. The old is gone. What a privilege we have to represent Christ here. And right now, I want to speak to you. Because here's the thing. As I mentioned just now, it's all about Jesus. It's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And that's what happens when you encounter Him. When you let His love come and saturate you, when you let His fire come burn inside of you, you will burn for one name, my friend. And that is the name of Jesus. You will lift up one name. And that is that name as above every name. The name that is above death. The name that is above the grave. It is the name of Jesus. 
He is the name. That's the name you need to call on. <laughs> and He loves you today. He loves you. And that's my prayer for you right now. Wherever you're watching right now from, that we wouldn't have a but first. But first, Jesus. I said it yesterday. So many people are sitting in hell right now because they thought they could say yes to Jesus tomorrow. The word declares that now is the day of salvation. Right now. Right now, wherever you're watching, right now you can be healed. Right now you can be delivered. Right now you can be set free. Right now those chains are holding you down. That feels like, I mean, life is wearing you out there. You can be free right now in a moment when you call on the name of Jesus. Because He loves you. He loves you. It's the goodness of God that leads a man to repentance. Mercy triumphs over judgment. God's not going to slap you. He welcomes you in with open arms. Like that prodigal son did. When, 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 the, when the father saw the prodigal son, he came running to him. The prodigal son didn't even have time to explain. Well, he did. <laughs> and I want to tell you right now, maybe you, don't, <laughs> you want to do some explaining. Uh -uh. Just surrender. Just let Jesus be Lord of your life. Because he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. So maybe that's you right now, you're watching. I don't know where you're watching from and your situation, but like I've mentioned right now, He needs to be first place in your life. You need to burn. You need to be on fire. That when you wake up in the morning, it's Jesus. When you go to bed, it's Jesus. Come on. He needs to be everything. Yes. Everything. And like I said, it works. I know with my life, I've surrendered to Him. My love for Him just gets stronger. I love Him. And there's no fear in love. <laughs> there's no fear in this. So maybe that's you right now. And you're saying, Daniel, I need to get right. I can't even just go to church because no church died for you. Only Jesus died for you. You're not going to stand before a pastor one day. You're going to stand before Jesus. And you have to give an account of your life. <laughs> so right now, maybe that's you. Maybe you lost your fire. Maybe you lost your passion. Maybe your love has grown cold. I want to pray with you right now. Maybe it's a first time decision. I don't know what it is. Or you're just struggling with things. that You just need help. My friend, Jesus has the answer. And he is the answer for you right now. So I want to pray with you right now. Wherever you're watching from, if you can just put, if you're saying, Daniel, today, I'm going to make a decision to follow Christ with everything. I'm not going to be some, you know, backslidden loser, some <laughs> lukewarm person saying yes with my lips, with my actions, denying everything. But I'm going to say yes, everything. If that's you, I want you to put your hands on your heart right now. And we're going to say a prayer together. Right now, wherever you're watching right now, now is your chance. Now is the day of salvation. Now, now, now you can be free. Now you can be set free. Now is the day. So if that's you right now. I want us to pray. I want you to repeat after me right now and say, Lord Jesus, here I am. Today, I surrender. I give you everything. All my life, I surrender at your feet. Today, let my love be on fire for you. Let me love you above everything. Because today I know that you died for me. And you were raised up for me. And today, your blood washes me. And I am clean. I am forgiven. I am a child of God. No longer will the devil torment me. Because the devil is under my feet. <laughs> and today, I walk in victory as a child of the Most High God. 
Hallelujah. 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 If that, if that is you right now, I want you, there will be an email coming up on the screen right now that you can get back to us and we're going to send you some free things. What now at myfaithtv. Yes, what, what now at myfaithtv. It will come up there on the screen. And we want to get back to you about your new life in Christ. Because the word says we're not there to make new converts, we're there to make disciples. And we want to see you be doing these type of things. My friend, God has such an amazing plan with you. And if, like I mentioned, now since you've surrendered, everything will be changed in a moment. There it is on the screen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And maybe you're right now, you have sickness in your body and you're busy watching right now. We saw amazing miracles yesterday. The word says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And when he sends out his word, doesn't return void. <laughs> he is faithful and true. That means he's full of faith. And he's true. His word, he's the truth. And the truth shall set us free. And that's him. So maybe you have a sickness in your body right now. I want to come against it. Wherever you are watching right now from, I don't care what it is. Jesus wants to heal you. He loves you. So Father, thank you right now for every person that has sickness in their body. Father, Lord, I break its hands off your people's life right now. Every chain is broken. Every addiction is broken right now. Father, I even thank you right now for new limbs, Father. Father, new organs in the body, Father, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for new hearing, Lord Jesus. New eyesight, Father. Back pain, we rebuke it to go in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now wherever you're watching from. Check your body. Check what it is. If it's your knees, check your knees right now. The presence of God touches you right now. He loves you. He's a father. He's a good father. <laughs> and he's more real than, like I said, the words that I'm saying right now. He loves you. He loves you so much. No longer do you have to be stuck in addictions, in temptations. No. The blood of Jesus <laughs> washes all of that away. So just receive it right now, son and daughter of God. It's free. It's free. It's free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want us tonight to do something that I was just really sitting here and pondering about. I'm going to ask my team to put up the website address on the screen of Take the Nations. All right, I want the, the website for Take the Nations. This evangelist has been faithful to the call of God in obedience from the very beginning and has decided nothing would stop him. No COVID, nothing would stop him. Hosting crusades. Put some of those crusade pictures up as well, quickly. But team, get the Take for the Nations website up for me as quick as possible. Look at these pictures. Wow. This was just recently, last week, in Zambia. Two weeks ago, in Zambia. All right? Two weeks ago, in Zambia. This is Brother Daniel. Praying, ministering. Anointed and released through Brother Reinhardt to the nation of Africa to see thousands and thousands and thousands and I declare millions and millions souls saved in Jesus' name. Millions of souls saved in Jesus' name. I want you tonight to take this website and we're going to sow seed into this website tonight, not ours. All right, I, I, I don't want you to go to our website. We've been going to our website for many, many nights. I want tonight, wherever you are, I want you to take the best seed that you can take tonight. And I want us to put it in souls tonight in Jesus' name. I want us to put it in souls in Jesus' name. In fact, I'm going to take you one step further. I want you to partner with Daniel. I want you to partner with this ministry. 
The website's on the screen, takethenations.com. This is an evangelical ministry that I believe is having a great impact in our nation and the continent of Africa. They're doing small events all over South Africa. They're doing bigger things in Africa, those big crusades that you've seen. He's busy. He's doing stuff all over. I've seen his heart. I know his heart. And I want you to get behind this vision right now. And I want you to sow a seed tonight into evangelism. Souls for the kingdom. I felt God say that so strongly to me in these last few moments. And this website is how you can do it. I'm going to ask you to log on right now. I'm going to ask you to click. There's a, there's a top little button that says donate in the top corner. There it is. Get a close up here quickly. There it is right there. There's a little button in the top of his website right there that says donate. Take the nations, donate. You click on that little button right there. All right. And it opens up everything for you, whatever country, wherever you are, whatever nation, whatever currency, wherever you represent it. There you are. It's all on the screen right over there. It's easy. One, two, three, and it's done. You can take your card. You can, you can donate. You can partner and you can become with Daniel. A powerful partner reaching the lost. We're going to partner with them. We're going to get behind the vision. We're going to stand in the gap. You say, well, I, I don't have a device right now or I can't go to that website. Then you can donate and, and give. But I want you in the, in the comments section on our website, I want you to put, take the nations. Take the nations. So please yeah. put that in the earmark it in the subject line. And we'll forward that on to them if, if it's too difficult for you to do something else. Or if you don't remember all of this information, but must put a reference, take the nations. And I believe tonight that we're going to see a move of God. We're going to see a mighty, mighty thing happen through our giving tonight into this ministry. And I don't do this often. But tonight I feel I want to sow into His life. I want to sow into His ministry. I want to support and get behind what I believe is a heart and a passion for God like never before. So whatever country you're listening in, wherever you're watching, tonight, that's where we're going to sow. Tonight, that's where we're going to give. Takethenations.com on your TV screen right now. It's on Facebook. We've put it down there as well for all of you on Facebook. Come on. Come on. Takethenations.com. There it is. You're all writing that right now. Take the nations. You're on Facebook watching right now. Go to that website. Go to that website. Put the reference, Take the Nations, in the reference bar if you want to give. If you want to sow a seed, there's many different ways to be able to give. But tonight we're going to be a blessing. So Father, we release your favor upon this ministry. Father, I pray for supernatural increase financially upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural increase 100 fold over their lives now in Jesus name we open the floodgates of heaven and father we declare blessed shall they be in everywhere they go every single rand every single dollar every single need that they have father I ask that it would be manifest tonight in Jesus name and that that next crusade is paid for in the name of Jesus. No luck overtake the nations. No luck in Jesus' name. I release breakthrough. I release abundance upon that ministry. I release the favor of God. Receive in Jesus' name the fire and the anointing of increase over your life now in Jesus' name. Financial blessing upon these hands now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, from this day, you shall not lack. You shall have abundance over your ministry now in Jesus' name. 
We cut off any curse of poverty. We cut off any curse of lack over this ministry. And from tonight, it turns in Jesus' name. We release the favor of God, supernatural favor over his life, over his wife right now. Receive it, Bree, right now. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Lift your hands. Lift your hands, Be right now. Lift them now. Receive favor over your life in Jesus' name. Every one of the team members that are watching, there's over 15 team members watching. Lift your hands right now if you're part of this team. The breakthrough is coming of abundance over your life. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Supernatural. Supernatural increase. From this night you shall know the abundance. I hear the sound of rain. I hear the sound of rain. I hear the sound of rain overtake the nations in Jesus' name. I speak to every pastor. I speak to every leader tonight. You're listening right now. Pastor, this is a ministry you should partner with. Churches, this is a ministry you should get behind. I speak to every man of God right now in Jesus' name. You take a thousand rand. You take 10,000 rand. You take something from your ministry and you say, we've been looking for a, a way that we can give into the nation. This is a way. You sow tonight and watch what God will do over your ministry. In the name of Jesus. Open the floodgates of heaven. Blessing and breakthrough. Tonight, I'm telling you, every seed that's sown tonight is coming back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. I declare over 100 fold return over your seed tonight in the name of Jesus. I speak blessing. Oh, come on, let's lift our hands. Let's declare His goodness. Our time has run out, but you can keep giving. You go to the website right now, take the nations. Com. You do what God has called you to do. You be obedient and you put that seed in the ground. Tomorrow night is worship night. We'll be back with you and we're going to worship the Lord. We're going to declare His goodness of every one of our lives. Thank you for being with us. We love you. Joe, take us home. God bless you. Hallelujah. So now, let the